Discussions around the shooter's background and motivation weave together personal responsibility and broader social implications. Reports that the shooter harbored hostility toward transgender people and frustration from being bullied for their queer identity highlight an intersection of identity conflict and social pressures. Criticism, such as transferring all the gay kids, negatively impacting society, reflects a conservative anxiety about how current social policies may affect mental health and behavior. The claim that the trans movement has become extreme, violent, and unhinged represents skepticism from some conservatives, questioning whether progressive social changes are destabilizing society and harming individual well-being. Meanwhile, questions about the shooter's medication and therapy echo concerns about the adequacy and safety of mental health treatments, raising calls for stricter oversight and accountability in the mental health field. Reporting, too, about that incident report from 2023, that Discord account that um, John uh, Miller was mentioning that the FBI linked um, to Cole Gray, where he referenced uh, the, the Whoever wrote the post referenced plans for a future mass shooting, writing, I'm committing a mass shooting and I'm waiting a good two to three years. I'm ready. Posting images of the gun, expressing desires to target an elementary school, expressing frustrations with the acceptance of transgender people. So how is it that these um, accusations, these threats are brought to your attention and then later on you end up purchasing a gun for your son? So the question becomes, what was the inaction that was taken in terms of locking away guns or the action taken by this father in terms of buying him a gun. This case presents a complex interplay between individual identity, social values, and potential systemic failures. The public conversation often zeroes in on personal accountability, while also scrutinizing deficiencies in social policies and mental health care systems. It's not just a legal or psychological matter. It's a personal and societal struggle with questions of identity, belonging, and meaning, all of which seem to underlie the shooter's actions. There's a broader exploration of how individual psychological turmoil may be shaped by the values of the surrounding society and its institutional responses. This discussion pushes for a deeper understanding of the existential challenges tied to identity and how social pressures can warp individual behavior.